Hello YouTube here. This is Facebook 32. Today is September 15th, 2010. As promised, Microsoft released its uh, Internet Explorer 9 beta. So you can download the beta from uh, Microsoft web page. This is the URL. And uh, click get in now download the installer and uh, install it after one restart you can start your internet explorer 9 the interface is here this is the address bar this is your type bar okay i'm not gonna have a comment on the interface and because everybody some people like it somebody dislike it it's personal preference here I, I found this video about Internet Explorer beta crashes on its startup. And uh, I had exactly the same problem for i9. I can't open YouTube, Google crashes, uh, even Microsoft Pages crashes. The, the problem is not really about i9, it's about the incompatible add-ons. So, the add-on, the incompatible add-on, just like incompatible software, will crash your Windows operating system. So the add-on will crash your IE9. So if you had a, if you have a incompatible add-ons, then you need to disable it. Unfortunately. So after I disable the several. Incompatible add-ons. I and I just work like a, a browser would do. It just works fine. YouTube, streaming videos, checking news, Facebook, Apple, are all working. Okay, so it works great. So, so the problem is not. Again, not about the i9 itself, it's more about the add-ons. So, it's up to you if you want old, if you want try or not. The i9 have a uh, lot of uh, technical improvement over i8. Generally, it's faster. It's rendering page better. So, here is here are some uh, techno improvement the most improvement you can see is the assets three ie8 will fail assets three badly but uh in internet explorer 9 still fails SS3 since you need a hundred over a hundred to pass a test, but ninety five over a hundred is a lot better than I nine I eight, and uh, you have uh, full support of a CSS three sectors. So let's run the test. Okay, 41 out of 41 passed, zero buggy and zero unsupported. So we have four support of the SS3. And uh, according to Microsoft, IE9 has a capability of uh, using graphic card to accelerate the web page and use Direct 2D to make rendering page faster. Internet Explorer 9 also support HTML5. So it's most modern technology are all on the Internet Explorer 9. 
so here are the some performance tests and HTML demos and graphic demos demos you can try out on the IE Net web beta web page. So generally in conclusion is that IE Net has mo most modern t technology you want and it generally faster and more stable than IE Net. IE8. So yeah, so if right now is be Internet Explorer 9 is in the beta stage, so that uh, that means it might have issues. So you might want wait until the final version release. So, but if you want to try out it now, you you definitely can. And uh, so that's 